Hi everyone and welcome back to Thermodynamics 2 tutorials with Maria. We're going to be solving a stoichiometry problem. We have fuel oil that is burned with 50% of excess air and the combustion characteristics of the fuel are similar to C12H26. We are asked to find the air fuel ratio to find the molar mass analysis of the products and the dew point temperature of the product. A combustion process is a chemical reaction where fuel is oxidized most of the time by air and it's going to release a big amount of energy. Air is composed of oxygen, nitrogen, argon and other gases, but in terms to make it simple for the analysis, we're going to say that air is going to be composed of 21% of oxygen and 79% of nitrogen. If we write this, we know it's going to be 0.21 kilomol of oxygen plus 0.79 kilomol of nitrogen and if we divide everything by 0 0.21 we're going to find that for each kilomol of oxygen that we use we're going to need 3.76 kilomol of nitrogen and that's going to give us 4.26 kilomol of air. Now if we write our combustion reaction we're going to have C12H26 plus oxygen, this is the air, and the products of combustion are CO2 plus water plus oxygen plus nitrogen. We need to find the values so we can write the equations for each of the components. So for C we have 12 that are in the reactants, that's it. Here we're going to have Y, C, and that's it. Then for the H, for the hydrogen, we're going to have 26 here. We're going to have two X. X 2x and that's it. So here we can find that x is equal to 30. Now we can write for oxygen, for O, so we're going to have 2a, here we're going to have equals to 2y plus x plus 2z. Okay, now we can write for nitrogen, so here we're going to have 326a, it's going to be equals to w. In this case we took nitrogen, so we don't have to multiply by 2 because anyways they're going to cancel out. We can see here that we have four equations and we have five unknown. So we won't be able to solve it by hand. And when we do combustion analysis, we can assume that the excess oxygen is zero. So in, only for the analysis, we're going to say that Z is zero. So by doing that, we're going to find that A is going to be equal to 2Y, so 2 times 12 plus X, so 13 plus zero, because it's zero divided by 2, we're going to find the value of A of 18.5. And then for do review, it's going to be 3.76 times 18.5, which is going to be 69.56. So now we found the combustion reaction when using theoretical air. And now we are told that 50% excess air is used for the combustion. So 50% excess air is mean it's going to be 100 plus 50% excess, so it's going to be 150% of the theoretical air. That means that the theoretical air that we found that we're going to oxidize here, we're going to need 1.5 of that. Now, we're going to be able to solve for four unknown because we're going to have our four equation. So let's go and find for carbon, so that's going to be 12 equals to y. For H, it's going to be 26 equals to 2x, so x is going to be 13. So this one didn't change from before. Now for oxygen, it's going to be 2 times 1.5 times 18.5 equals to 2y plus x plus 2z. So this one we know is going to be 12. x we found is going to be 13. So we can find a value of z of 9.25. Now for nitrogen, we're going to have 1.5, 18.5. 3.76 is going to be equals to dual review and then that's going to be equals to 104.34. So now that we found our combustion reaction with 50% of excess air that was burned for the combustion, we can go ahead and find the air to fuel ratio. So the air to fuel ratio is the mass of air times the mass of fuel over and this can also be reading as so the number of mole times the molar mass of carbon plus the number of mole times the molar mass of hydrogen and number number of mole times the molar mass of air. So this can be, for carbon we're going to have 12 
kilomol times 12 kilogram per kilomol. That's a molar mass plus for H2 is going to be 13 kilomol times 2 kilogram per kilomol. And we recall that for each mole of oxygen, we're going to have 4.76 moles of air. So it's going to be 27.75 times 4.76 kilomol of air. And the molar mass of air is 29 kilogram per kilomol. And it's going to give us a fuel ratio of 20 to 53 kilogram of air over kilogram of fuel. To find the molar mass analysis, we need to recall that the molar fraction of a component is going to be the number of mole of that compound over the mixture. And the number of mole of the mixture is just the sum of all the products. In this case, it's going to be 12 plus 13 plus 9.25 plus 104.34. And that's going to give us 138. 59 kilomole. Now we can just say that the molar fraction of CO2 is going to be equal to 12 over 138.59. That's going to be equal to 0 0.0866. Now for water, that's going to be 13 over 138.59. That's going to be equal to 0 0.0938. Just going to keep going here. So the mole fraction of oxygen is going to be equal to 9.25 over 138.59. That's going to be equal to 0 0.0667. And for nitrogen, it's going to be 104.34, 138.59. That's going to be equal to 0 0.753. Now we, find, we have to find the dew point temperature of the product. And what it means is the temperature at which the water vapor of the product is going to start condensated, condensating as the products are going to cool down. So we first need to find the pressure vapor of the product. And that's going to be equal to the mole fraction of vapor times the pressure of the product. This is going to be at atmospheric pressure. And that's going to be the Y of H2O. So that's going to be equal to 0 0.0938 times 101.3 kilopascal. And that's going to give us a pressure of 9.50 kilopascal. And now we can find the dew point temperature. It's going to be equal to the temperature of the saturated at 9.50 kilopascal. And that's going to be equal to 45 degrees Celsius.